So apparently Prince Andrew is up against it. The lawyers for Virginia Roberts Giffrey, they are reaching out to anybody and everybody who will talk. And that's what this video is going to be about. So I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. If you haven't subscribed, it's an easy thing to do. And it just means a world of difference for me. And thank you anyway. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So Virginia Giffrey's rich. I mean, she's lawyered up. She's got money that she never expected to have, and she's ready to burn it up. She's going to get the best, or she has already the best lawyers, and New York is looking very strong and hard across the ocean at uh, the Prince. So here's the two little paragraphs I know. If they suggest that Meghan should lawyer up, because Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, uh, can testify in the Prince Andrew, the Duke of York sex case. And attorneys for Virginia Roberts Giffrey claimed that Meghan Markle could one, all, one or all of these three things. One, she's in the U.S., and so they have jurisdiction over her. Two, she's in a position to have heard people talk about it, and she may very well have important knowledge. And then three, uh, she's someone they say they can count on to tell the truth, and she checks all three boxes. So in the theater, you know, when you have somebody that's a, they call it a triple threat, okay, their talents regarding their, their talents uh, as performers. But it looks like this is a triple threat to be performed um, with theatrics, and any bad actor uh, would dread it. Um, other royals like Prince Charles, the Duchess of York, Sarah Ferguson, Queen Elizabeth II, uh, wouldn't be called out uh, out of respect and deference. So Golden Universal Tarot. These are great cards. This is another Los Scarabio. Uh, like I say, it must be a sweatshop of Let's Make Tarot cards back at that place. Um, the guidebook is just your typical couple languages. Uh, not too tiny to read, which is what I'm concerned with. But nothing, <coughs> um, you know, astounding uh, revealed in that. But the cards are really great. And, of course, what's, what's neat about them is that they're kind of gilded. You know what? Let me turn off the main light that I've got here in the room because I think it sheds a little uh, too much uh, shine on these cards. But uh, you can see that they're pretty much the typical Rider weight depictions, just uh, gilded and golded up and uh, really make them interesting uh, to look at. And after all, if you're looking at tarot cards every day, uh, no matter why, whether you're looking at readings or whether you're doing the readings, you know, if you can shake it up with something that's a little interesting to look at, I think that's great. And of course, like I always say, I lay them out like this for two reasons. One, it's an interesting way to get your cards mixed up and shuffled. And if you're working with someone else, you can let them do this and kind of get their energy in the cards. And But the most important reason for me is because when I was just watching uh, the videos, I like to see uh, what the cards look like. Um, and you never got the chance to do that. So here they are, Golden Universe, Universal Tarot, uh, Los Carabio. Love these cards. So this is going to be... Uh, Megan, will she testify in this Prince Andrew sex scandal situation? I can't imagine. So those are the, there's, uh, I have four questions. Uh, three of them will be um, three cards, and then the last one will be a full uh, Celtic cross. So, wow. But first, let's take just a second for a little bit of meditation. That's all it takes. Let's see if we get some good information on this. So this is going to be Meghan Markle testifying uh, against um, or with information about Prince Andrew. Meghan Markin, Markle. So the first question, will Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, testify in Prince Andrew's sex case? Will Meghan Markle testify in Prince Andrew's sex case. Will Meghan Markle justify in Prince Andrew's sex case? Three cards. One, 
two, three. Okay. Put this aside. Will Meghan Markle testify in Prince Andrew's sex case? First card. Okay, so this is the King of Swords. Swords are truth, justice, rules, and law. And uh, the King of Swords is pretty strong. So maybe. Let's see if the next card. Will Meghan Markle testify in Prince Andrew's sex case? The Sun. Well, this is shining a light on information. That's a, both of these are yes cards. And the third card, wow. Big offer of value. Wow. This, this says she will. I can't believe it, but that's what these cards say. Okay. So next question. Number two, did she hear people talk about it? Has she heard people talk about it? Wow. Has Meghan Markle heard people talk about Prince Andrews? You, you know what I mean? And not just... I mean, while she was in around all those royals, does she have information that's pertinent? I mean, does she hear stuff that, you know, a judge would want to hear? That's the question. Not just did she hear people talk about it. Did she hear stuff that a judge would want to hear? Three cards. One, two, three. Wow. Very interesting. She hear things that the judge would want to hear. Wow. Great big offer of value. That's the Ace of Pentacles. Second card. Wow. This is the judge. Uh, not the judge. Wow. This is the Knight of uh, Swords. Uh, Truth, Justice, Rules, Law. Racing in. Third card. Ah, okay, so this is the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is... Uh, Pentacles are worth their value. They can be money. And the King is... Oh, I wonder if she, is she close enough to have heard Charles talking about it? I don't know. But the question is, will she hear something the judge wants to hear? Well, the first off card up is the Ace of, of Pentacles, big offer of value, followed by this knight on a charging steed uh, carrying the sort of truth, justice, rules, and law. And then the third card up, and that's uh, whether she has heard something a judge would want to hear, is this king of pentacles. And this is, it represents a judge, or this represents someone in the royal family. It looks like it might be Charles, but I don't know. Interesting. Wow. How could she have, I wouldn't have thought she'd have that kind of conversation with Charles, but she may have overheard, huh? Interesting. Or secondhand through Harry. So number three is, will she tell the truth? And that's what... Uh, Virginia Roberts Giffrey's lawyers have said they can count on her. They think if she get the truth, they get the truth from her. So three cards. And my side computer went off here where I've got questions. So this is one, two, three. So let's see what we got here. So third question, will she tell the truth? That's what they're counting on. First one, okay, the Hierophant. Okay, this is the government. This is pretty um, serious. Second card is ah, moving out of troubled water. Truth, justice, rules, law are what's going to move her out of troubled water. Number three, ooh, the devil, ill intentions. I wonder, this is interesting. So what this says to me is that, will she tell the truth? Well, yeah, she's going to be up in front of a judge if that happens. And uh, so that's the, the significance of that. I don't think she'd have the guts to lie in front of a judge. She uh, she believed that this information, if she has to give it, would move her out of troubled water. But there is this also, coupled with this ill intention, maybe this is a little backstabbing on her side at the royal family. Say, so, I will testify. This is what I've heard. And yeah, they're not so perfect, are they? That's what that looks like to me. So, and then the last, this will be full Celtic cross. Will Andrew beat the charges and will he get his place back in the royal family? So, will Andrew beat the charges? So, I want to know, will Prince Andrew, in this sex case, will he beat these charges? Will he beat these charges? Will Prince Andrew beat these charges? Let's see. Six cards. One. Two. Three, four, five, and six. Will he beat these charges? Full Celtic Cross. This will be the first six cards of that full Celtic Cross. Okay. Will Prince Andrew beat these charges? First card is uh, Temperance. That's interesting. 
So this is the uh, ten, this is fourteen of the major arcana. Temperance is finding a balance. Hmm. Interesting. This is a signifier. Challenge to finding that balance then is oh yeah. So this is a knight of of wands. This knight is the fighter of the royal suite. Wands are actions, plans, motions, moving forward. And the the challenge to finding that balance for him towards um, beating the charges is that uh, this knight of action is uh, is. Uh, uh, suited up and ready to ride and that would have to be the prosecution the base of this reading would be ah so this is the nine of cups the base of this is the happy merchant okay this is uh wishes fulfilled so the base of this uh will he beat the charges the question is about andrew and it looks like uh he's got something on his side look at this uh cheeky uh, uh merchant showing their leg here the past of this reading is ah yeah the eight of swords swords of truth justice rules law and uh, eight of swords is uh, feeling you know kind of uh, trapped by that and in fact this person is not only surrounded on three sides uh, this is standing right in front of them this one right here to stop him from going forward hmm interesting the sky of this reading for will he beat the charges is ah five of cups yeah having lost something really mourning that you got a little bit left behind but this could be his standing uh, in the royal family i presume so let's see. Uh, will he beat the charges? Ah, so with this hermit, um, this is the major arcana. The hermit doesn't take a step unless he's absolutely sure which way he's going. And at the, you would have to think that um, this is where uh, Andrew hopes he is. And um, it may be that he uh, is is lucky to have a very careful defense. So, so will he beat the charges? Perhaps. Um, then the last of, of this is, uh, will he get his place back in the royal family? Will he get his place back in the royal family? Will Andrew get, let's say, a place back of more prominence in the royal family? Will he get his place back in the royal family? Will Andrew get, let's say, a place back of more prominence in the royal family? Okay, the self of that question. Okay, so yeah, this is a knight of uh, cups, cups of compassion, and this knight <coughs> is advancing slowly forward. <coughs> the environment that that's in, well, this is the star card, so this is hope. Yeah, so this is, there's always, there's always hope, I guess, is what this is telling us. There's always hope. The uh, hopes of the fears, victory so yeah if he has victory then that's what's going to open the door for him to participate more in the royal family and then the final outcome in this is uh, the seven of swords oh yeah theft and betrayal so these are lies theft and betrayal and uh, it may be that he actually beats this thing through these means interesting so that's what we've got for prince andrew well, that was interesting. What do you think? Uh, sometimes I get it right. Sometimes I'm not sure. Put a mention in the comments. I'm Mark. My journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now. One, two, three. You really make a big difference. Thank you.